This is a little parts breakdown video for the Coil King IO. And yes, I will start at the middle with the coil. So the coil is a quartz rod, which is wrapped with a dual canthal wire. So it's a dual Clapton wire. See that? Yeah, cool. There we go. Dual Clapton wire wrapped around a quartz rod. Uh, provides very, very clean flavor and high performance. Uh, the dual Clapton provides a lot of surface area. So while the temperatures on this are set fairly low, uh, there's no 300 degree dabs on here, 300 degree centigrade dabs that is, uh, the vapor production is still excellent. So you have your coil there, and then you have your little airflow cap with notches in. These notches align with the notches on the mouthpiece. So you want to line them up with your coil. So they align like that, and then pop that on. You do that so that when you insert the mouthpiece and dab tool back on, it loads the coil in the right orientation instead of loading it like that, which is less effective at transferring the dab onto the wire. So, mouthpiece. The mouthpiece is made of zirconia ceramic, which serves to cool the vapor quite significantly. You won't get any hot streams coming into your mouth. And it also has a built-in dab tool on the bottom. Um, I will show you that in a minute. Then also, one thing to note, it's a good idea to get a very little bit of lubricant and put them on these O-rings. Um, just makes life a little bit easier. Then we have storage. So we have replaceable removable storage which screws into the bottom of the pen and this also has removable silicon sleeves. They're a bit tricky to get out. I usually use tweezers. There we go. Yeah. So if you damage these or mess them up um, you can just replace them. We have those in stock and they come with the top gasket which also comes out. So that's the basic idea. You have a dab pen, which includes everything that you need to leave the house. You have your concentrates in there, you've got your dab tool in there, and yeah, does everything required. So onto the battery. Five clicks to turn it on, excuse me. And then we have three heat settings. Press the button three times to change between the heat settings. me right and then I will stick that on high I'm really good at doing the wrong number of clicks sorry yeah, there we go and I will show you a little dab demonstration so yes as you can see this is why I have ever so slightly sweaty hands it just makes it difficult or more difficult if it's a uh, if it's not lubricated we have silicon based lubricant um, top slide lubricant on the website too if you'd like some of that, you can use a little bit of vegetable oil. So I've put a little dab on the dab tool. It doesn't have to be perfect and it doesn't have to be big. Although I will get a little bit bigger than that just so you can actually see the dab. There we go. Right. Reasonable, not massive. And then so we have these notches aligned and then these fit into them. Cool. Now the dab is suspended on the dab tool above. So there are two ways you can do this. You can either hold down the button for a couple of seconds to allow the dab to transfer onto the tool. Or what I like to do is hold down the power button whilst inhaling very gently so that the heat is sucked up around the dab and the dab melts and comes off the dab tool onto the coil. Um, so. It's quite a big vapor producer and you should get a few inhales off each dab. So I'll keep going until that's dead. One thing I'd note, just to keep the flavor as good as it can be, continue inhaling for a couple of seconds after you release the power button so that it cools down the quartz rod and the coil and you'll have a more even heating session each time.
by the way, CBD distillate, um, full spectrum distillate from Ice Head Shop. Very, very nice, very tasty, very clean. So I think that's three inhales I've had. Just gonna finish that off. Cool, that's basically done. Now there's a tiny little bit on there, but just for the video, I'm gonna show you, as you can see, coils. Pretty clean still. Right, so the easiest way to clean these um, is very simply hold down the power button when it's on the high heat setting, leave it for a few seconds, then release it, hold the power button again. The coil by this point will be just, just about to start to glow. And then you can blow through this hole here while it's glowing. And that'll just push any extra residue up onto the coil and vaporize it out. And then yeah, you have a nice, clean, shiny coil to start again with. Something I missed, so I'll bring that back in, is the water tool adapter. This is a 14 millimeter male water tool adapter. Uh, it's compatible with any 14 millimeter female setup. So this just pops onto your mouthpiece. And then yeah, you can pop that upside down after the initial melt upside down into a water tool, or if you have a hydro tube, you can just stick it in the bottom. Um, yeah, that works very nicely. It's also, for some people who knock their teeth on mouthpieces, makes a great replacement mouthpiece because you're not gonna do yourself any damage with that.